now. We don't know what's in this jug, do we? You can't see what's in this jug, can you? There's a few clues, though. I know it's feeling heavier than it should do, and if I shake it, I can hear some sloshing about. So perhaps we know that there's liquid in there. But how much is in there? It's a bit like that with God. We can tell some things about God from how he created the world and how he created us. We have a sense of right and wrong. We see beauty and reason. But it's hard to know exactly what God is like just from this. We need help to know. We need help to know God. Now Jesus was a person just like we are. We know this is a glass of water. We can understand that, can't we? And we can understand Jesus. But Jesus was more than just a person. Jesus was God. So come on, what was in that jug? Hands up, come on. Who knows what was in that jug? Judy? No, no, not red wine. It was black currant juice, wasn't it? And how do we know that now? Because we can see it. And you know what? I can smell it. Wait there, I'll double check. Yes, we can taste it. It is blackcurrant squash. And it's the same at Pentecost. Jesus shows us what God is like. I'm just going to put this down, actually, before I spill it. The last few days, and today, we're celebrating we're celebrating the 70-year reign of our monarch. And we're going to be continuing later to celebrate, so please do come along and join us for afternoon tea and songs of praise. Also today, though, it's 50 days since Easter Sunday, and we're celebrating Pentecost. Pentecost is the day the Holy Spirit descended on the apostles. Some people refer to today as the church's birthday. And this is because Pentecost was the start of the amazing way that God allows us to serve and to love one another. Let's go back to that remarkable first day of Pentecost, though, when the disciples went out into the streets of Jerusalem and they mingled with the crowds they began to talk about God, what he'd done in their lives, about their friend Jesus, about his life, his work, his death, and his resurrection. Now, the disciples had a real fiery enthusiasm and a fresh inspiration to share the good news of God's love for the whole world. And as they did so, the people around them, they began to hear the good news of God's love in their own languages. People were amazed. They were puzzled at what was going on. Listen to what these guys are saying. How come ordinary men from Galilee are able to speak to us in our own language about God's power in our world? 
Some people thought that the disciples were just mad, or perhaps they were drunk. But other people were very thoughtful and asked, what does this mean? What should we do to respond? What is our response? I expect the disciples were just as surprised and shocked at what happened in Jerusalem on that exciting day, just as much as their listeners were. Perhaps things then quietened down and they remembered what Jesus had told them the night before he died. In our Gospels, we can read that on that evening, while they were all having supper together in the upper room, Jesus tried to explain to his disciples that he would have to leave them soon and go away, back to his Father. However, he promised to send someone else to be with them. He promised to send the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, the Comforter. Jesus promised that when the Spirit of Truth came, he would do three important things. Firstly, Jesus said, the Spirit of Truth will help you understand God's plans for this world. He will help you understand right from wrong. He will touch your minds and remind you of all that I have taught you while I've been with you. Secondly, Jesus said, even though I'm no longer with you in the flesh, the spirit of truth will help you feel my presence. Even though you can't see me with your eyes, he will help you to hear my voice in your heart. And then thirdly, Jesus said, the spirit of truth will help you live out your life as my friends and followers. He will help you tell others about me, share my love, live together as my church, changing the world around you to make it a better place, to make it more like the world my father and I longed it to be. Jesus promised that the power that had been at work in his own life, the power that was to bring him back to life from the dead, would continue to be at work through his Holy Spirit in the body of the church. So today, just as it was for Jesus' disciples on that very first Pentecost, God's Holy Spirit is still with us and comes to fill each one of us. His spirit of truth, it helps us to remember and understand Jesus' teachings in our minds. It helps us to feel his presence in our hearts. And it helps us to belong to his church here in Wendover and to carry the light and love of Christ out into the world. We can't do any of this on our own. We can't even do it together as a group. We can only do it if we ask for the Holy Spirit's help today and every day. When we're baptised and confirmed, we're making our own commitment to follow Christ and we're asking the Holy Spirit to be at work in our lives. When a person is baptized, the priest says, you have received the light of Christ. Walk in this light all the days of your life. And the congregation responds, shine as a light in the world to the glory of God the Father. I really hope that um, some of you, or lots of you, will be coming back this afternoon. There's been quite a, a stream of cakes and scones coming into the kitchen, um, and we're going to set tables up. 
because the weather's not playing ball today, but um, we can be inside. And then at 5.30, we've got our songs of praise, and we're going to be joined by the choir and some of the people of Great Missenden. As you know, um, over the last few, well, year and a bit, uh, Nadine or Sally and I have gone and taken services down there. So we've invited them to come here and join with us. Um, so at 5.30, um, we have arranged for parking in Chilton Way. So if you're coming by car, um, just continue around past the church and there'll be a sign where you can actually get in um, to the, the campus and the parking there. And then as you come out, you'll be able to come through the automatic gate that's just by church. And I think the gate coming through into the church grounds will be open as well. That'll be open from four o'clock. Um, so please do use it if you're coming for that service. Um, but it'll be a real opportunity for us to, to celebrate all together. Um, it's great. When I turned around, I realized so many of the choir have got uh, their red, white, and blue as well and dotted around the church. So uh, that'll be fantastic. Um, just looking ahead, um, on the... Next Sunday, sorry, I'm trying to remember what's in the update. Next Sunday, there's a church walk um, at half past two. Remind me where it's going, Michael. Uh, Western Turville. Western, right. So this is going to be a flattish one to Western Turville um, and back. Um, and then on the 18th, um, there's going to be a tea dance in church. So it's Wednesday afternoon. Um, it's being arranged by Wendover Support um, and Alliance. Um, and going to be in church here. So if you know anybody or want to come yourself, come and enjoy. Um, the, the Sandy who does it is... Um, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking it's not, the, it's not a Wednesday. <laughs> Start again, Sally. It's Saturday the 18th in the afternoon, 2 till 4. Um, so please come, please come along to that. Um, there's also Wendover Music is on next Saturday um, as well. In her prayers, Tricia mentioned Christian Aid. What an amazing collection. Once again, um, it's over £3,000 that's going to be going from Wendover, um, from the tea event that Mark arranged and was so wonderfully supported. Um, 84 of the envelopes that had been delivered were brought back and there was over £2,000 in there um, and then David had some on a card reader. So it's a fantastic um, support from here uh, for the people who really, really need it. So thank you. Thank you if you delivered envelopes. Um, thank you if you were able to donate. Um, and thank you to those who brought in flowers to be able to decorate our church as well. I think... That's all. 